Hello everybody and welcome back to more Gungeon. Today we've got a fiery special run in store today. So we're actually checking out a few things here. So first of all, simple little Molotov launcher. It's nothing special. It's a decent gun. But then we've got the ignition tank, which some Risk of Rain 2 users may enjoy. Bullets gain a small chance to ignite. Burning enemies contracts blast blight. Afflicted enemies will explode after three seconds. Very interesting. Very, very good. The fact that it gives our regular bullets a small chance to ignite as well is really, really cool. Um, and then we also have John's Wick, which is a pretty interesting one as well. Um, good old John's Wick, no dogs harmed. Move faster and deal double damage while on fire. Take damage from fire more slowly. Pretty interesting. So... This is like a wombo combo sort of deal here. We're going to be dealing some pretty good damage with fire. I mean, you just saw that there. And you can see, while we're on fire, we gain some absolute speed. It's pretty cool. I really like the little effect under our feet as well. And yeah, it's a little bit harder for us to take damage from fire. Now, I do want to see what our ignite chances are. I am curious to see how uh, common it'll be. And I don't even know if it'll work with our default pistol. But I think I've seen one or two shots already. But yeah, so far, so damn good. Uh, and as for a question of the day for Gungeon, what's your favourite gun in Gungeon? Vanilla Gungeon. I haven't done Gungeon question of the day before, so I'm, I'm interested to know. Oh, really? The hand got me. The hand got, got me. I will bite the hand that feeds. I will. I'll have to redo this room. This room was a pain. God damn. It's okay, though. We got it. We got it. We're playing as this character here just because I, I do like this guy every now and again. He's not the best in the world, but he can be kind of fun. But yeah, any any weapon that fires fast or any, enemy, any weapon that's going to give us more fire is going to be really, really good. If we can get hot lead, that would be rather good. But yeah, you can see that blast blight immediately triggered on that guy there. And we can step into the fire here to... Um, keep on fire. The good thing is as well is because the fire burns us more slowly, we can actually stay on fire for a long time just by rolling at the appropriate time. Like, it's a little bit hard, a little bit hard to do exactly right, but if you if you roll at the exact right time, you can re-up it. It's, it's just before it burns you. And you can see that we can keep some moderately good stats here while staying on fire the whole time. And it's kind of like this weird back and forth. I quite like it. I quite like it. It's just about rolling at the exact right time to not take damage from it. I just love them. The, the movement speed you gain is absolutely bonkers. You gain an insane amount of movement speed. But yeah, really fun combo. And the, the, this is kind of interesting because these items were actually suggested to me as two separate... So I got suggested the um, this item here, the ignition tank... Uh, and then separately, I got suggested the Molotov launcher plus John Wick as the, the uh, ignition tank and the uh, John Wick from two different mods. And I thought, you know what? These just go well together. I'm going to combine them all. Um, we got an active here. Um, passively reduces burning speed to one-fifth of its usual speed. Being on fire increases fire rate and accuracy. Increases damage dealt um, on user set. Oh my god. It's amazing. Holy hell, this is not scripted. This is not scripted. I just genuinely just found... I didn't even know that item existed. I didn't even know that item existed. That is wild. So, I I'm very curious to see how that works. That's going to obviously give us some care. So we have 19 casings, which is completely in the realms of possibility here. So, we'll see if we can get that going on. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. I love it. And it's easy to set ourselves back on fire as well. But yeah, there there's our money look. Grab ammo for that. Right. So let's see how exactly how this works. So it is an active, passively reduces burning speed. That's really, really good. The fact that that's passive is very, very nice. And then the actual active effect was, um, what was the active effect? Passively reduces burning speed and grants power while burning. Immolates the, pa uh, oh, this just sets us on fire on use. This is unbelievably amazing. Now, the question is, John Wick reduces our burning speed, and so does this. Do they stack? I wonder. I wonder. Let's see. Oh, ho, 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 they stack. Baby, they stack. What is this run? Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is joyous. Right, actually, as well, we can take a look at our stats here. Um, One second. I'm just going to take a look at enabling some more stats. Okay, I've just enabled a few more stats on the side here so we can see our speed. So if we set, set us on fire, we'll see our speed goes from 7 to 12. 
Our fire rate goes, goes up 20%. Our spread decreases by 50%. Our damage doubles. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is joyous. This is truly... so, And I can use this as well to just ignite myself. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that even slower? Is that even slower? No, it's not, is it? Oh, it is. It is even slower. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, okay. While I'm in the fire, it burns me very quickly, but as soon as I get out the fire, it's incredibly slow. Okay, so it, it, it doesn't. Boy, this is a good run. So not only do the fires do some great damage, but we have a lot of reason to utilize them. And we get ourselves whatever this is. Let's have a little look-see. What is, what is this? Passive item. Barrel of the Forbidden Gun. The barrel of a forbidden gun. The gun was feared by Calibur. She shattered it and has pieces guarded by a trusted kin. Um, starts a special gun event and increases fire rate. 15% fire rate increase. A, a, an event has started. I'm curious to see what that means. It's fire. I am on fire too and dealing beautiful damage. Oh, look. You're made of fire. <laughs> you thought. You thought. Now, the one thing we don't want is we do not want any immunity to fire. If we get immunity to fire, that will stop this working. Luckily, if we do get immunity, we can drop it. Oh, man. <laughs> this is... This is amazing. I absolutely love this. Yeah, I, I just do not care that I'm on fire at all. I am moving at a blistering pace. Just roll every now and again and all will be good. And we can actually just blast blight enemies on occasion too. Not that that's actually super required anymore. <laughs> the blast blight's really just a small bonus to this amazing, amazing run. I can't believe we got that item. Absolutely wild that we got that item. I think we can buy a key for this much, can't we? Oh, it's 21. Oh no, we had enough. Good. Okay. Nice, okay. And then in here we get ourselves the Neutrino. Interesting. Infinite ammo, that's pretty good. Made for tiny hands, a micro nuclear battery will keep this blaster burning longer than a lifetime. Uh, reload a full clip to swap between stun and fry modes. I'm not seeing any swapping going on right now. But still, an infinite ammo weapon. I'm down with it. Probably better than a starting pistol. Right, so. We immolate before we go in. I still think that's slower, you know. Using the actual immolate. Only thing is, this guy does require us to dodge roll on occasion. Oh, look, he threw fire at us. What a, what a goober. What a goober. I would like some fire back, thank you. Oh man, this is... I'm in love with this run. It's only the first goddamn floor. Give me some of that fire, baby. Thank you. Love it. Oh, another Molotov. Thank you. Thank you. I revel. I revel in the burning destruction that you throw at me. And we got something interesting. We did actually get a Mimic here. I, I see you there. I see you there. Being a bit cheeky. Oh, this is the stun mode, I see. So that stunned an enemy. So, Fry mode. Is Fry mode burning? Because that's good. If Fry mode's burning, I like it. Oh, we got the we got the water jet cannon, which I'll be honest. Water jet cannon, like what bottle rocket. Cool. But not not on theme. Not on theme. How dare you be not on theme on a run such as this? That offends me. But I think fry mode, it seems to be. Yeah, so this is like, you see how it's like blue bullets? And if I reload in a full clip, it's red bullets. So I think red bullets are burning, which, <laughs> do you know what? Pretty perfect also. I must take a pause when we get down to the next floor here. But yeah, I'm, I'm just in awe. In awe of this beauty right now.
this this has come together in a way I was not expecting. Not only was did we get this item, we got it on the first floor for like 19 cent from Kersula. That's unprecedented. Right, let's pause here real quick. Okay, we are back in it. Let's, let's boom and zoom, baby. Let's boom and zoom. So I just want to see like how consistent... Oh, God. Ah, I got hit there a little bit. I want to see how consistent this thing burns things. Oh, God damn. It seems... Seems pretty amazing in fry mode. So, still everything is on theme here. Everything is on theme. I need to get out the way of things a little more, don't I? I also need to set myself on fire. Like, wh why would I not? Extra fire it and double damage. The speed is just secondary to everything else. Lovely stuff. And this thing has infinite ammo as well. This is just... Oh, man. You couldn't ask for a better run. <laughs> it, the Blast Blight, it literally one-shot that guy. So the Molotov Launcher has kind of made itself a little more obsolete now. It's, it's, it's a good way of ju us just igniting ourselves, but otherwise it doesn't matter all that much. Oh, I do not like this. Yeah, I knew I was getting hit there. <laughs> I knew I was getting hit there. Right, just got to redo. Oh, you're not the same any as before. Oh, you're also championified in a way that I have not seen before. You have a lot more health. My goodness. You are a thick boy. Oh! Here's part of this quest, then. Core of the Forbidden Gun. Um, Increases damage. Our damage has gone up by 10%. Okay, so it seems like we're building a gun. It seems like we're building a gun. Beautiful. What's left? There's so many various enemies here, I don't know what to be sort of looking for. Oh man. The absolute god of fire. How do I even thumbnail this? This is going to be a tricky thumbnail to create. I do not know, but I am, I am ready. I am so goddamn ready. I just like the fact that we can continue burning through rooms and that's an advantage to us. We can just stay on fire. And that's like a positive thing. Just roll every once in a while and all will be taken care of. And th this this weapon is, is very good. I mean, I feel like most weapons would be pretty good with double damage, but this one particularly. Is that what I think it is? Well, let me just roll here and get stopped being on fire so I can read this. It's the Book of Sin. It's the Binding of Isaac item, and we've got a Risk of Rain item. What's going on here? Spawns a random pickup. Okay, cool. I think that's going to be better than the lockpick, honestly. One thing I just want to check real quick. Set myself on fire. Okay, the acting I have out makes no bit, no difference. That's That's good to know. Very good to know. Right. Taken care of, boys. Taken care of. Yeah, the, the ignition tank is just giving us a bunch of extra damage on top of what we've already got going on here, so... Very nice to see. Very nice to see indeed. Lovely bit of extra money there. Look how close I am to being burnt, and I'm just teleporting around. It's <laughs> this is just not not usual Gungeon behavior at all. Just chat to this guy while on fire. Oh, I've got to use the club. Oh wait, no, it it's it's put it put the fire out. I'm gonna have to set myself on fire, grab the club, and walk in so I don't have to switch weapon. Because if I think if I switch weapon, it'll fail the challenge. But I need the double damage to make this doable. Careful, you. Careful. There you go. And we got our chest here as well. What gun is this? This isn't, this isn't my regular shtick. Okay. 
And we got the stinger. I quite like the stinger. Very good, very nice. And then what are you going to give us, good sir? What are you going to give us, good sir? The backup gun. Pretty good with the stinger and just pretty good with the Molotov launcher as well, to be honest. For us right now. In most scenarios, probably not the best. Still don't know what you do. I d See, I want to buy one, but I also don't want to, like, do anything bad to my run. This guy's giving me absolutely no info, so I'm just going to leave him alone. If you give me some more info, maybe I'll use you. A stinger plus Molotov launcher, I think. Yeah, because now I can fire one at the um, at the boss, and one hits behind me. Also, do my do my bees have the flame effect? That they do. Look at them go! Look at the bees. Yeah, the stinger's really good because all of the bees track the boss. Even the, the one from the rocket that hits behind us. But there you go. Lovely stuff. Book of Sins ready for us as well. Another key, baby. Another key. And we got um, a synergy with the um, alien sidearm, I think that is. And we got Table Tech Revenge, is this? Table Tech Revenge, I think it's called. Table Tech Assassin. Um, tables flip by... Ex Tables flipped by enemies explode. Oh. Okay, it doesn't happen often. Pretty pretty D tier, but it'll do. It'll do. Right. That's not intended. Um, backup gun, are you okay? Also, backup gun didn't work for this, weirdly. Weird. Um, what happened to backup gun, guys? I'm confused, but I am excited at the prospect. <laughs> so, now we're shooting out of our back all the time. That's, that's just going to be our life now. <laughs> we will be taking advantage of this wee little bug. I'm sorry, but... Who out, who out, who of you out there would be good enough to not abuse this? Not a single darn one of you. It's a single player game. We're all filthy cheaters if we get the chance. <laughs> also, this is just weird. And I'm going to enjoy it. It's weird and I'm going to enjoy it, right? Let's get that going. Oh, it's, 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 it's beautiful. Oh, I buggered that up. Beautiful, beautiful. Gotta be really careful. The thing is about the being, being on fire thing. I want to try and not have to use my Molotov all the time. I've got a roll at the exact right time. It can sometimes be a little bit faffy. I don't even know where the enemy is. Do I give a damn? Not a single damn. Not a single damn was given this day. Um, I guess we'll go for Stinger Ammo. Oh, we don't need Stinger Ammo. I guess not then. I want to do a full floor where I stay on fire for the entire floor. Unfortunately. Actually, no. I can do it. I can do it. There you go. That's technically, technically okay. Now I've got to wait. <laughs> if I want to stay on fire for the full floor, I've got to wait. Until I can roll. There you go. Ah, oh, no. It's... It, it, I, I'm, I'm not going to bother. This is just too annoying. <laughs> Okay. No, the fire. There you go. <laughs> Don't dissipate on me, fire. I need you to last even longer than you're lasting right now. I am spreading the burn. Spreading the burn in a great way. Ooh, also we got Book of Sin. Give us another key. Holy. Um, nano Machines is pretty darn good. I probably will just take Nano Machines. Poison Dart Frog's also very strong too, but I think Nano Machines for safety is going to be the best. Let's 
wants to be amazing. Okay. We had to walk into the shop there to put the fire out. Yeah, I'll take nano machines there just for a bit of safety. Two armor, and I think it's every th third or fourth hit we gain one armor. Look at that. Oh, we're using the wrong version of this now. We need to reload again. There you go. Thank you. Oop, I missed those guys. It's kind of hard to shoot backwards because with controller, you're normally somewhat relying on aim assist. Not, not fully, but it's like, it's there to help, but now it's just not. Ooh, heart container. Not bad, not bad. Darn you, game. Muncher. Don't think I have any use for a muncher here. Oh, it's our next it's our next part of our quest. We've got the Eye of the Forbidden Gun. I think this is lower I think this is increased accuracy, isn't it? Increases accuracy. Okay, I imagine there's four of these pieces. Um we've got what have we got so far? We've got duh, 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 the eye. I'm losing one of my is. We've got the eye, the core. The barrel. Um, eye, core, barrel. Probably trigger and bullets were missing. I don't know, actually. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Magazine, maybe? Oh, hello. Ooh, we got the bat gun. I'll take some curse. Oh, it was... Dude. What is going on with backup gun today? The fuck is this? Charge, activate, and passively gives an extra item slot. Not bad. Okay. Backup gun is is uh, is very, very broken today. And um, I will not be... Yeah, the gun's not meant to be able to spawn this many bats. As you can probably imagine. But we're going to abuse this for a little bit because it's funny. It's meant to fire literally one at a time. The funny thing is, the ones coming out the back don't use ammo. <laughs> like, at all. Another key? Oh, glass guns on this. Ooh, the bats are, uh... The bats are not happy about me traversing rooms there. Another key. See, although I like this, the, the fire's not being utilized, and I feel bad about that. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> this is insane. Oh man, this is insane. Alright, it's boss time. Now that's a lot of bats! <laughs> Being able to see what you're doing is overrated. <laughs> How do I always manage to break Gungeon in hilarious ways? There you go. <laughs> All this and we've used a hundred ammo. Ooh. Synergy with this thing, nice. Oh! <laughs> now it can shoot shotgun bats, I think. Yes, it can. <laughs> we like that. We like it a lot. Bat gun is best gun. The Lord of the Flames comes number one, but the absolute ridiculous backup gun Hellbats Definitely, definitely just below it. Man. How to dominate a run. 
how to dominate a run. Come on, game, let me keep playing. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Come along now, game. What you taking so long for? This is our chatting time, so how have you guys been on this fine, fine day? What did you have for tea? There you go, we're on the hollow. Oh, curse of infestation, you say? Curse of infestation, you say? Oh, that's a, that's a mighty fine infestation you have there. <laughs> A mighty fine infestation you have there. Dude, they drop money? Why did they drop money? <laughs> okay, so now I also, on top of this, have infinite money. Now look at all that. <laughs> oh, it's another gun. I'll definitely be using that. Oh, my bat army. What's going on with these bats? <laughs> these bats be chilling. Right, now I can passively sit back and relax while my army does the work. Yeah, if, if he wasn't aware already, this is just meant to shoot one bat out the front normally. Just one bat at the rate at which the ammo bar is going down currently. So, reasonably slowly. It's not meant to be this insane, and it's definitely not meant to give you money. <laughs> I love the fact that we've got, like, the shotgun bats in there as well, just to add to this ridiculousness. Really? A few of you survived? How? To be fair, they, they don't seem super accurate. We good? But maybe a little bit of overkill on this guy, but... Oh, they're having a hard time hitting him. And he just sidestepped my Molotov as well, how dare you. Ammo, you say? Oh my lord. I don't know what's happening in this room. Something went awry. There was a noise. I killed this. Uh, we've got, which one we got this time? We got the stock this time, which is speed. Nice, so we probably got one more piece to go, last floor. I, like, I don't even see the enemies die anymore, but it's not, that's not our concern. That's, that's between the enemy and the bats. Beautiful. Up to 696 six money. Oh, look, it's the secret floor. I'm actually managing to take quite a good amount of damage here because I'm not paying much attention to what's hitting me. I need to take a bit less damage. Whoa! They all like flew at one enemy there, what the hell? Leave them to do their business. There you go. 
They're actually pretty slow at killing stuff, all things said. Let's do the old Goldie for a little while, maybe. Wait, is the old Goldie broken as well? No, it's not. Okay. Old Goldie is normal. That is pretty good. I think we're probably going to take that. Oh, we can we just carry that as well. Nice. I like that. There's just a bunch of bats following us from room to room now, apparently. Nope, that's the wrong weapon. Um... Oh, that's the boss room. Oops. Give me a touch. Just a little flavor. Oh, hello. We do not need to give health for money, I don't think. I have a feeling... A slight feeling we probably have enough money. Oh, dude, this, the, the accuracy on this thing while we're on fire is insanely good. I didn't think about that. It's very nice to see. Unfortunately, not the best selection of stuff here in the, in the, uh, the old shop. Um... Yeah, not much on the map either. Secret room isn't very good. I do believe the Chloranthi ring allows us to fly, right? Um, We can shoot while this is active, right? That we can. Good. Lovely stuff. Ah, oh, you bastard. And we got some sort of hand. Lich's trigger hand. Uh, fires a shotgun effect of wind. Reload to erase most enemies in a three tile radius. It's a weapon. Oh, I like it. I like it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Consumes all NCs in the three meter, except major bosses, mimics, NPCs, and companions. A shotgun effect of wind. Okay, I doubt it's going to be a good boss, uh, boss killer. Oh, why is my, um, why is my Coranthi ring just charging automatically? I, I guess I have an item that lets it do that. I can't remember what item that would be, but... Okay, we'll do old Goldie. Um, nah, we'll do the bats. We can't not do the bats, right? Sight is overrated. Frame rate is overrated. Okay, now we'll do the old Goldie, because... Uh, the guy's having trouble. While we're incorporeal, we can't set ourselves on fire. This is bullshit. Damn it. There you go. We're good, baby. We're good. Turbo gun. Not my favorite. Right. Um, we'll, we'll use this thing for a little bit and see how it goes. And we'll Molotov launch. But let us go to the next floor and decimate everything that comes anywhere near us. Again, we're back on story hour here because the game takes a while to load when you play modded. It is a shame, but it's what we deal with. It's what we deal with. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask in the last loading screen what you guys had for tea today. What do you have for your evening meal? Uh, well, I won't say today because it might... Well, no, you pro you've probably eaten by now. Maybe not. But if you haven't eaten what you're going to eat, if you have eaten, what did you eat? There you go. I don't know what I'm going to have today. I haven't really decided. I had steak yesterday and it was very good. I could be tempted to just have that again. <laughs> um, but I haven't really decided. But anyways, we are here. We are ready to set ourselves on fire and use this hand. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Oh, 
It just eats them up. Oh, there's our last piece, I think. Drum of the Forge Gun. There, There's that bad boy. Okay. Right. We've forged this gun now. We've lost all those passive items and we've gained the Explodia. A great beast ravenous and filled with need for vengeance. Slaughter them all. Sure Calibre, her time has come. The world will look in awe as it combusts into glorious stardust. Every shot applies Blast Blight. Well, that's pretty interesting considering we have an item that applies Blast Blight right here in the ignition tank. So, yet again, pretty on theme. Oh, dude, it's also broken. This is... This is nice. It also seems to just set, some, set some fires, which is pretty good. We good? Why is this guy not dead? Oh, he's, he's jammed, that's why. Yeah, this is a good way to set ourselves on fire too, which is kind of nice. I fell, and I'm still on fire. Don't we just love broken guns, people? Also, this is a cool, this is a really cool gun. Regardless if this was broken or not, this would be a good gun. Every shot applies blast blight, it's kind of nuts. Am I getting ammo for it too? I seem to be, I don't know what I have, but I have something that's giving me ammo back when I'm killing enemies or something. One second. Sorry, I've been outside today and it's very warm, which means hair fever is in full effect. So I had to sneeze. We all good? I like just the, the background noise, the ambiance of just constant explosions. We get ourselves the Fang VV. I'm guessing the VV is meant to look like fangs, right? First of the vamp vampire lords, traditionally known as... I, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, let's just see what the gun does. Shoots two parallel teeth projectiles at once. These teeth leech blood from enemies on hit. Strengthens the wielder's damage temporarily. Sounds pretty cool. But I apologize that it's, it's not quite as an insane and cool as what else we have going on. We have a gun that's just generating permanent explosions forever. Seems decent though. But this, this is the way, baby. This is the way. We have spent the entire run building. I just, I can't believe how like crazy this run has been in terms of theming. It's given us so much stuff that, that goes with the theme of this run. It's kind of insane. Slowly wait while on fire on this little platform here. Maybe it's just that I'm using a lot less ammo than I thought I was using because of this this crazy thing that's going on here. We good? We good. The shop is here. Rochambeau. Beautiful. Rochambeau is random status effects. Um, each time you reload, your gun has a different status effect, I believe. Poison. Fire. Fire's the... Oh, wait, no. Rochambeau, I'm sorry. I've just bought you. You're beautiful. It gives you immunity to fire. I'm not having that. I can't be having immunity to fire. That, that just... It takes away from this run too much. I cannot have it. I don't even know where the enemies are most of the time here. I'm just firing in the herps I get to them. Ow. 
Everything dead? No. Apparently I hit a war mimic at some point during all of this. God knows where. There, that's immunity to poison and an extra heart. I'll take that. The, the, the distant explosions, the just constant distant explosions is just funny. Only annoying thing about this is my camera moves in the way I'm aiming. So my camera's moving away from the enemies rather than towards. As it normally would. Yeah, I really like the idea of this weapon. The only thing I've got to say about it is, like, about this, this, this item thing. You must have to find it early on for it to be plausible for you to finish it, right? I just get lucky about where I found it. Or can it only show up on the first floor to make sure you have enough time to build it? Because I've got one piece of floor. Rocket-powered bullets. I like that. I like that. Do you know what would be really good with this? Bouncy bullets or scatter shot. That would be quite hilarious. Right, it's boss time. He's jammed as well. How very perfect. But the lag is a uh, little more than I was expecting, but we can deal with it. I think it's I think it's basically just the uh, the insane amount of blast blight I'm applying is way more than the game ever intends for you to apply. Well, that guy survived that. I blanked it. I thought it would have thought it would have destroyed him. It's actually not killing him as quick as I thought, but he is jammed, so. Unfortunately, getting hit unsets me on fire now, which is not what I like. There you go. This phase is done. It's done. It's done. There you go. It's done. Right, I am going to have to unfortunately lose my fire status while I... Uh, Take care of the guy. I think the explosions is also causing some of the lag too. And for that reason, I think we're going to leave off the run here. But I think it's been a very good showcase nonetheless, and a very fun one at that. My goodness. I don't even know what I'm going to put in the thumbnail here. Because I could put this gun in the thumbnail. I could put this backup gun craziness. I could do all the fire stuff. I've got a lot of choices here. Either way, this has been just an absolutely glorious run. The, the explosions are still going off. I'm not even in the same realm anymore. How are they still going? But either way, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one because this was an absolutely wild ride. I cannot believe the look of getting that item on the first floor. What are the chances? Actually, what are the chances? Oh, man. I'm very excited for what we see next in Gungeon, but this was... A hell of a lot of fun. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.